Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Kimio Boyet. Boyet was shot and killed on Monday, December 7, 2020, in the 100 block of East 120th Street in the Broadway Manchester neighborhood of South LA, according to LA County Coroner Records. Anthony Norris and Corey McClendon were subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. The evidence established that on December 7, 2020, victim Kimio Boyet was standing outside an apartment complex when a car pulled up and stopped. Two men exited the car with guns. They fired several rounds, one of which struck the victim in his stomach, ultimately causing his death. Before being transported to the hospital, the victim told the police officer that the vehicle involved was a gold Nissan sedan. A nearby surveillance camera captured the incident. The recording showed two vehicles, a gold Nissan and a blue Fiat, passing the victim's location three times before stopping in front of the apartment complex. In January 2021, a police officer spoke with defendant while he sat in the front passenger seat of a parked Honda. A blue Fiat was parked nearby. Defendant told the officer he owned the blue Fiat and his statement was recorded on the officer's body camera and played for the jury. Corey McClendon is defendant's cousin and was originally a co-defendant in the case. He testified at trial pursuant to a leniency agreement. Defendant and McClendon were members of the Athens Park Bloods. McClendon testified that on December 7, 2020, in celebration of Hood Day, he, defendant, another gang member named Bohart Wilkins, and others were chilling in Athens Park and waiting to go to a party. After spending some time at the park, McClendon, defendant, and Wilkins got into McClendon's beige gold Nissan to go to a party. McClendon was a driver. Wilkins was giving McClendon directions to the party, which included several U-turns, when he told McClendon to stop in front of an apartment building. Wilkins and defendant jumped out of the car, fired shots, then got back into the car, and McClendon drove away. Another individual, Popo, who had also been at the park and was following them to the party, was driving a blue Fiat. The Fiat followed the Nissan from the park, until it stopped ahead of the Nissan at the site of the shooting. Through expert testimony regarding defendant's cell phone location data, the prosecution showed that defendant's cell phone was in Athens Park just before the shooting, was turned off for about an hour, then turned back on just east of the crime scene in Athens Park. McLennan testified that the location of the shooting was at the borderline between Athens Park Bloods and East Coast Crips territories. At trial, the prosecution played a recording of a conversation between McClendon and a confidential informant, recorded while the two were in the holding cell after McClendon's arrest. The recording established that McClendon's trial testimony was consistent with some of his pre-plea agreement statements. Defendant Norris did not testify. In July of 2022, the jury found Defendant Norris guilty of first-degree murder. The jury also found true the gun enhancement. Additionally, the jury found Norris guilty of conspiracy to commit murder. The court sentenced defendant Norris to a term of 35 years to life, consisting of 25 years to life for the murder and a 10-year high term for the firearm enhancement. The court stayed the sentence on count two, conspiracy to commit murder. Kimio Boyet was 25 years old at the time of death. 